coins, the symbol of economy. Humans started using coins as a valuable for exchanging goods more than 2500 years ago. Right here we see a 2 euro coin. There are 19 EU countries that each have their own euros. For example, this one from Italy, a coin from Finland, Ireland, Belgium and Germany. I always find it amazing to think how much distance these coins have traveled and how many people have had them in their pockets or wallets. Today I will give one of these coins another purpose in life. One and two euro coins consist out of two separate parts. With a little healthy persuasion, these come apart quite easily. As you've seen from the title and the thumbnail, we are trying to turn a coin into a pocket knife today. This is not a unique concept, but most people use a stack of coins. My objective was to really make the end result the same dimensions as a single coin. As you can see, I started out by trying to hollow out a coin with a saw. I can hear many of you think, dude, that's illegal, you are not allowed to destroy any money. Well, I did some research on this one, and according to the European Commission's recommendations dated from 22 March 2010, member states of the European Union must not encourage the mutilation of euro notes or coins for artistic purposes, but they are required to tolerate it. Mutilated coins or notes should be considered unfit for circulation. But that's a logical thing, right, isn't it? As you can see, it sort of worked, but the ring added a lot of weakness to the structure and the integrity of the system was kinda doubtful. Also, it proved really hard to make the cuts very straight, well, which makes sense in retrospect. So with all this in mind, I decided to start over. But this time, I did some more research. So I actually started measuring things for once. Apparently, a 2 euro coin is 2.2 millimeters thick. I thought, since this coin has the largest diameter of all the euro coins, I thought it would be the thickest as well. Turns out that the 50 cents coin is way thicker. Well, that is 180 microns thicker. Therefore, I decided to switch to a 50 cents coin. Save me a lot of money in it. And I discovered this way that the images on 50 cent coins are different than the images from the same country on 2 euro coins. Belgium. Italy. Finland, an older Belgian, Portugal, Germany, but I wanted to go for a Dutch coin for this one. The plan was to attack the coins with an end mill, but I didn't have one, so I found an old broken drill bit and flattened its end. Alright, and now for some highly improvised milling machine, otherwise known as my drill press. Every single metal worker in the world will probably cringe out over this, but you know, I had nothing else and I wanted to finish this thing today. I'm moving this thing by hand, which is stupid, but I mean, it works, sort of, so I'm not complaining. This actually worked surprisingly well, the surface was, was flat, so that's all I wanted to reach here. Let's not waste any words on what happens here. I'm actually surprised by the amount of time that the drill bit can drill sideways. After some more sanding, the surface looks surprisingly flat and good, and the original thickness of 2.38 has been reduced to just a little more than half of that. Let's repeat this process for the other half. Yes, I'm using WD-40 as drill oil. Are you gonna sue me now? The combined thickness of these two half coins is just a little more than the original thickness of a coin. But I think I'll stick to this because we need to hardly half them again. So we need some material. Let's find the coin's radius and draw a line on the knife.
Now we're gonna cut the shape out. Also we add the little handle for your nail to flip the knife open. This was the moment to half, half of the halved coins, again. There you go, that's what I was after. This would have been so much easier with a normal milling machine, but you know, this is also kind of a challenge to do it with relatively normal tools. Making sure the two ends are parallel. Let's try to drill a hole in this knife. That was easier said than done. I might have been a little optimistic here since this steel is hardened. After a good few minutes of trying, I realized this wasn't gonna work with the drill bit I had. So I started using very unconventional methods, which I will not show you because, nah, that's not good man. After a few drill bits, a broken knife blade and some extreme Dutch swear words, I managed to punch through the metal and move on to cutting the blade to its final shape, in order to be able to open the knife up properly. Luckily for me, the coin didn't resist at all. Time to test out the assembly. You know what? That's not bad at all. This was sort of what I envisioned in the beginning. I was wondering if we could use the drill press also as a lathe. Turns out that works just fine. Hmm, this fit was a bit too loose. I tried again on the other side of this tiny little piece of coin. It was really fun to make these tiny sticks of coin. Let's try to fit it in the coin now. What? How did this happen? It became oval. I feel like I should be trying to make a carburetor jet using this technique once. I now put the pins in, cut them off and it's time to flatten the ends so you will not notice much of a difference with a normal coin. As far as the mechanism goes, I think it works pretty good, considering how small this is and how ghetto my build methods were. Using the sharp point first to expand the pin and then flatten it with a flat drill bit. That doesn't look too bad. You can see it, but from a distance you won't. And there we have it ladies and gentlemen, a fully functioning openable pocket knife built in in a 50 cent euro coin. Admittedly, it's not perfect yet, but this gives me room to make a second iteration once. The pins should be hidden a bit better, but at least they are the same color as the coin, so it's not too bad. Also, don't forget that these coins are very big on your screen right now, but in reality you overlook these pins quite easily. The thickness is comparable to a normal coin. I should probably have tried to make the pieces of coin that go over the knife just a tiny bit thinner, but I was afraid they would become very bendy. After all, it's not titanium we're working with here. Time to cut some things.
I hope you have enjoyed this fun build ladies and gentlemen. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like or even consider subscribing. That would mean quite a lot to me, to be honest. Signing off for now, hope to see you in the next one.